Hi and welcome back. This is Joe from Gentleman Stationer and today I'm going to do the video uh, the video component of a review of a pen that I recently you know reviewed on the blog, the Sailor 1911 Large Kiyomachi Legend Blue, which is a special edition pen uh, released by Sailor in conjunction with Nagasawa Stationery in Kobe, Japan. Um, I got this pen from Van Ness Pens um, here in the United States, who is a retail partner of Nagasawa, carries a lot of their special editions. So if this pen interests you, please go check them out um, because they've got this and a lot more. You know, for my full write-up and my full thoughts on the on the pen, you'll want to check out the website. But there's three things that I wanted to show you on a video because I think they're, you know, they're more, um, they better translate to a, a video and visual demonstration um, than a written explanation. And the first is, you know, the gold trim. Um, that's one thing that makes this pen kind of unusual for me in terms of something that I like. Normally, I opt for either black plated or silver trim. Um, this is gold trim. Um, I think it really, the gold really sets off this blue acrylic. And if you look closely, the blue acrylic, and it's reflecting in the sun, has gold flecks in it. So there's a lot of chatoyance here. The second thing I want to show you is the metal section. So sailors paired the gold trim with a gold plated metal section. Um, and that's something that I've not seen very much in, um, in sailor pens. Most of the time when sailor does a metal section, at least the majority of the ones that I've seen from the United States are black plated. Now I know that black plated pens, probably because black plate, black plated pens are more popular than, um, than gold trim here in the U S uh, I think sailor has done this, th this gold plated section in Japan because gold trim is more popular there. Um, but you know, the gold, the gold metal section gives the Sailor 1911, a nice balance in the hand. The 1911 large and, you know, the 1911 in general is one of those pens that I sometimes tend to find a little bit too light and just adding a little bit of weight to the pen on the front end often gives it a very nice, um, a nice balance because it, it front weights it ever so slightly. And, um, I find that a front weighted pen often has better control when you're writing with it. Um, last but not least, I'm going to break here in a minute, and I'm going to come back to give you a writing sample because this is a um, this particular pen has a broad nib, and I'm going to try to give you a shot there of the the Sailor broad nib because it's got the Nagasawa Weather Vane logo engraved on it, which is kind of cool. I got a ma uh, macro shot of that on the review that I published, uh, but I don't have a lot of broad nibs in my collection, but this one has me wanting to try. Um, more Japanese broad nibs in particular, because I've really enjoyed writing with this pen. Um, the broad nib writes probably more akin to a Western medium than a um, than your standard Yovo or Bach broad nib, um, but it really offered a very nice writing experience for me. And I'll show you um, a writing sample when we're when we're back. Hi everyone, so welcome back. And as I mentioned earlier, for the third point um, that I wanted to talk about here with this particular pen, I, I wanted to discuss a little bit um, about writing with a broad nib. And I've tried to incorporate more broad nibs into my own personal writing lately, mainly because well, one, I've got a ton of ink that I need to burn through. And as you all know, writing with a broad nib uses a lot more ink than writing with a fine or an extra fine or even a medium. Um, second, you know, I've never really tried a Japanese broad nib. And one of the reasons why I haven't liked steel broad nibs from, you know, the German pen companies, particular Yovo and Bach, is because they tend to be a little blobbish. They're very round. There's not much definition to your writing. Whereas what I found um, with this particular nib, that the Japanese uh, broad nibs, especially the gold ones, tend to be just a little bit narrower and have just a little bit more line definition than the German German nibs and the other Western Western nibs um, from, you know, say, Italian, British, German pen companies. The um, one thing I'll, I'll show you here is that this is a super smooth writer. It leaves a good amount of ink on the page um, without rendering it the, you know, the line so wet that it's going to smear or bleed through. Um, but it's very smooth. Uh, Sailor makes great nibs, 
And, you know, I'm, I'm going to try a pilot broad nib and maybe a platinum broad nib in the future because I'd really like to, to see how the other Japanese companies compare. But as you can see, I'm going to, um, yeah, well, before I get started on the writing sample, I've got um, Sailor Suboku pigmented ink in cartridge form loaded into this pen. And the paper I'm using here is my Write Notepads uh, landscape style notebook that you may recognize from other videos. But it's a... Um, this is a really good combination for everyday writing. I'm going to say writing sample with the broad. And this nib writes so smoothly that the pen basically can disappear in your hand. Yeah, my handwriting's not the best because I'm writing through a camera, which isn't always the best to, you know, make for very pretty penmanship, but, you know, I'm writing with a fountain pen. What can you say? Um, life is good. So that concludes my video portion of the review of the Sailor 1911 Large Kiyomachi Legend Blue which is an exclusive from Nagasawa Stationery in Kobe, Japan. In the U.S., it's available through a couple of different retailers. Um, I, I believe going forward, Van Ness Pens is going to be the main Nagasawa retailer for their special editions in the United States. I know Yoseka might also have some stock of, uh, of this particular pen. Um, this isn't a particular, particularly new one. I think it's been around for a year or so. But um, Nagasawa puts out line of beautiful sailor collaborations. Um, this is merely the latest. Um, it's honestly one of my favorites that I've, that I've seen, uh, just because it's a little bit unusual with the gold metal section, as opposed to the black metal section that you tend to see on sailor special editions. Um, if you enjoyed this video review, please, I would encourage you to follow our channel and recommend it. I'm trying to grow the YouTube, um, the YouTube presence a little bit more in addition to our main blog presence on the web. We also do have a curated stationery shop. We do not sell sailor, sailor pens. I'm not reviewing a product here that we sell. Um, this is exclusive to Nagasawa and their retailers. But if you like us, um, please consider shopping our stores the way we support ourselves. And um, as always, there's some you know additional, inf additional information and additional video content available on Patreon that you can check out. All these links will be in the notes from the video. Thank you.